The Light Controller Simulator is designed to give you an introduction to the Light Controller's web interface. The web interface contains three main components. One, an administrator interface that lets the administrator of the online server add and remove entities such as homeowners. Two, the entities configuration page. And three, the public user interface that lets visitors control the lights. Start by downloading the self-extracting zip file for Windows. Double-click on the self-extracting zip file to start the executable on your Windows computer. Click the Accept button and select a location for where to unzip the files. If you use the suggested location, a subdirectory named xlights-simulator will be created in your Windows download folder. The simulator will start as soon as all files are extracted. You may have to grant access if you have a Windows firewall running. The simulator is a web server running on your computer and requires access for the server listening ports. The web server is running in a console window, also known as a DOS window. The web server is running two applications, the Light Controller application and the Light Controller simulator. The simulator opens your browser and navigates to the IP address 127.0.0.1 as soon as the simulator starts. The IP address 127.0.0.1 is the address for what is known as the computer's loopback interface. All computers have the loopback interface active, even if the computer is not connected to a network. For security reasons, an administrator password must be set within five minutes after the server has started. The administrator password provides access to the administrator interface, and the administrator interface enables the administrator of the server to add and remove entities such as homeowners. We suggest that you initially read the manual, which explains in detail the concept of the administrator, entities, and the public user interface. You open the manual by scrolling to the end of the light controller tutorial and by clicking the Light Controller Manual link. Notice how the Light Controller Simulator interface is split into two panes. The left pane shows the Light Controller Simulator tutorial, and the right pane shows the actual Light Controller interface. The URI tutorial opens the split pane view. You can navigate directly to the Light Controller in a separate browser window by entering the IP address 127.0.0.1. You should follow the tutorial provided in the split pane view. However, since I know how to use the Light Controller, I will use the direct interface. The light controller is designed to manage a large number of entities. In other words, the application can accept a large number of light sets connected to the server. Each entity, such as a homeowner, is segregated by using a unique URL. The unique URL is simply a unique domain name per registered entity. We do not have a DNS server for the simulator running on the personal computer, but all computers have a static DNS entry for the name localhost. This name maps to the IP address 127.0.0.1. We will use the name localhost as a domain name and register this name with a light controller. The light controller simulator starts three simulated light banks as soon as the name localhost is registered as a domain name. The simulated light banks open in three separate console windows and connect to the server by connecting to the registered domain name localhost. Click the link localhost and enter a login name and password for the registered entity. Each registered entity, that is each registered domain name, will have its own set of credentials. The administrator's administration page for the entity registered under the domain name localhost will be shown as soon as you have set the credentials for the entity. This page enables the administrator to configure each connected light bank and to test that all lights for all connected light banks are working correctly. Clicking a light test button would normally blink one of the lights for the connected light bank. In our case, the simulated light bank simply prints out the light state change as on or off. We have three simulated light banks connected to the domain localhost. When connecting more than one bank, use the priority slider for setting the bank's ranking and priority. Multiple connected banks are merged into one coherent user interface on the main page, and setting a priority makes it possible to correctly configure the light shows, such as clicking the wave button. Since we are using three simulated light banks, we will simply set the priority slider such that it corresponds with the physical position of the three console windows. We want to set the priority such that SIM2 has the highest priority, SIM1 has medium priority, and SIM3 has 
as the lowest priority. This will make sure the Wave button in the public user interface makes a wave flow from top to bottom and vice versa. Click the Home Users Configuration Page link. Notice that the URL for the administrator page is the IP address 127.0.0.1 but that the Home Users Configuration Page URL is localhost. Each registered entity has its own configuration page, and the homeowner gets to this page by entering his own domain name. More information on the Home Users Configuration Page can be found in the manual. Click the Light Controller link. This opens a browser window for the Light Controller's public interface for the domain name, localhost. Clicking any of the light buttons sends a command to the server, which in turn sends a command to the light controller for turning the light on or off. We have a total of 12 lights combined from three light banks, where each light bank can control four lights. The wave button sends a wave command to the server, which in turn sends a number of separate commands to each light controller bank. Pay attention to the console windows. Notice how the light flows in the simulated light banks from top to bottom. This is thanks to the priority we configured for each light bank on the administrator page. If a light controller should disconnect, it will be removed from the user interface. We can simulate this by closing the simulated light controller bank. The public light controller user interface can be used by multiple visitors at the same time. We can simulate this by opening two browser windows. Notice that when we click a button in one browser window, both browser windows stay in sync. This was a quick introduction to the Christmas light controller and how to use the simulator as an initial step for getting familiarized with the real-time IoT web interface. Please make sure to read the documentation integrated in this tutorial. If you are a computer programmer, use the interactive developer information to open and study the server-side software and the client-side web application.